Hi guys, it's Jenny here and I do resell different platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Depop, as well as Facebook Marketplace, so thrifting and reselling, making money online is your thing, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hello, it's Jenny here and I am a reseller at the different platforms. I do it for a source of living as a homemaker and I think I do it part-time actually. So today's video is about um going over to my goodwill blue boxes to see if i'm making progress or if those boxes really had a high resale value or not or if it's worth buying it all over again oh so this version of what sold video is the version from the goodwill blue boxes so i go over from my first and second thrifty apparel box that i purchased last year which is actually June and July that is I think summer and which one does better the first or second box so without further ado let's jump into it. Now let's go over the first trip to apparel box that I purchased last June 1, 2022. I paid $19.99 for this plus $5 shipping. This was when the shipping rate is only $5 so it's like great right so i paid like 19.99 yeah i already said it so in this box uh well, they sent me 12 uh trip apparel uh which are a mixture of top um sweaters and t-shirts and shirts so if you haven't watched my uh trip apparel first box from goodwill you can watch it in the description box below but i just go through it what's sold from this box and how many days they are sold so first uh item we this is in no chronological order so i've just flashed it on the screen uh this is actually a 360 cashmere multicolor sweater um this is really a cozy kind of sweater and the brand is 360 cashmere which is really great 360 cashmere sweater is sold at ebay i listed it all in different platforms in all platforms actually so i listed it on uh june 24 2022 it was sold on november 7 2022 it's got sold around 138 days for 47 dollar i paid for the shipping of 7.60 dollars and uh the platform fee of 6.98 dollars and that only left me 30.75 dollar after uh, deducting the cost of it which is 1.67 dollars well i think this item alone is great uh it already had allowed me to recoup the total cost of the the blue box which is great right so i think that's one of the best item that they put inside the tripty apparel box so i'm happy about that so second we have this marco ribera uh, bohemian maxi dress which actually was also listed in our platform it was sold at also ebay for 32 dollars and i think i haven't paid the shipping for this yeah the buyer paid the shipping for this it was listed on june uh, 5th and it was sold after 30 days it was sold on july 5th and uh i paid also for the platform fee which is 5.78 dollars deducting 1.67 cost of the item it allows me to have a net profit of 24.55 dollar which is amazing right so that's a uh, second item the third item is the tassel elba t-shirt it is a vintage looking t-shirt which is like a printed brown color it is for men's and i listed at uh, last July, june 21st it was sold on, sold on july 30 it is 39 days before it sold so that's not too long so which is fine so the fourth item is this Hollister sweater. It is just a sweater for like a comfy sweater for the cold weather. It is striped. It has a metallic accent to it. And I listed it on platforms. Eventually it was sold at Depop. 
so it was sold at eighteen dollars. I think I paid the shipping for this because sometimes it keep up. I have to list the item with free shipping to attract buyers. So yeah, I paid a point point seventy four dollars shipping and a platform fee of two point sixty two dollars, deducting the cost of goods, which is one point sixty seven dollars. It leaves me seven point ninety seven dollars, which is just fine. It was listed. Um, the November 22 it was sold on December 3 which is very fine for me it's like more um less than 30 days before it was sold so I'm okay with that so the fifth item that was sold in this box is a sandwich table runner from Target it has a tag it is a nice bohemian style I guess it's embroidered tan color and well it has a it has a tag which is I think it's eight dollars or ten something like that. So I listed at ten and it was sold at eight. The buyer pays for the shipping and also it was sold postmark. So this is not really uh this but this one is not I'm not having a lot of profit because I only have left me three point thirty eight dollars deducting the cost the platform fees. But it's fine. I just moved the uh, table runner for around 30 days or so or less than 30 days so yeah and the last item which is yeah this is the sixth one one world tie-dye tea i'm sure i already mentioned this from some of my video that it was sold so this is actually listed on june 14th was sold on july 29 at poshmark for 11 dollars and I think, uh, yeah, I didn't pay for the shipping, so which is fine. And it only leaves me 6.38 net profit, deducting all the platform fee, which is $2.35. And the cost of items is $1.67. So, yeah, so the first box, actually, total uh, cost of item is uh, nineteen point ninety nine ninety nine dollars right so it has given me a hundred thirty eight gross uh, gross sales not deducting all the fees and all that but I think this first box is great um, because I have a net profit of eighty eight point ninety six dollars deducting all the platform fees the shipping costs and cost of items so yeah, I only had six items sold for the past how many days? This is actually uh, uh, 271 days as of now. So I still have six items unsold, which I think this is just uh, one of the bucks that I, I think I have profited more and I still have items to sell. So... I think this is a great box but going to the next box which is the second summer i thought it was fun items that's in there but unfortunately it this box doesn't give me a lot of profit because i only have two items sold for this box if you haven't watched this video you have to watch it in the description box below i listed it down so again this is in no chronological order the item that was sold is this ruby road shift dress it is actually uh not so trendy dress but it's like had that kind of retro vibe i guess this is actually sold at poshmark for 14 dollars this is a shift sleeveless dress uh I think uh, it was sold for 25 days. I listed on July 12. It was sold on August 7 for $14. And I think I offered shipping discount for $1.72. And paying the platform of fees of $2.95. It only leaves me of $7.52 net. Uh, deducting the cost of items. And because I wanted to like move the uh, move the items right away so I can like uh, re-roll and roll the money to buy another inventory and uh, the next item that was sold for this box is this Newport Muse lace skirt block it's actually really cool it looks like a retro 
kind of vibe and it's like it's lacy and it has a lining on it but it was sold $17 which is not bad and I think I had just sold this for 15 days I listed this on July 15 it was sold on July 30 at Postmark yeah at Postmark I think and I I I think this is sold by an offer so I had a discount shipping of 1.72 and I, it only leaves me at $10.07 profit because I deducted all the platform fees, the cost of the items, and this box only gives me $31 total of sales as of now. So I mean, I still have how many? Um, nine items. Oh yeah, uh, no, I, actually it's not nine, it's eight items to sell for because I keep the other items for myself, for my personal use. But this box, second box, is not really that profitable enough. But I think I was able to cope up uh, the cost of goods, which is $19.99. So I had $31 gross, but that's gross sales. Actually, uh, this box is not profitable. So that's all everyone so if you want to ask me if i'm going to buy another treaty apartment box this summer i think i wouldn't because i have to like evaluate how my postmark mainly my postmark closet i never sold a lot of tops for summer normally i sold a lot of like uh, summer dresses cami dress sand dress things like that and buying um multiple uh summer goodwill trip the apartment box for me as for my experience doesn't does well my experience so i think the first box is better so i think that's it so lesson learned this year i'm not gonna go buy another trip the apartment for this summer i have to go out and since it is already summer the weather is warmer here especially here in new york so i have to go out so that's all i think i have to say that you know buying goodwill blue boxes is a mystery boxes right so you don't know what's inside there but the, the trick is that if they put something nice items or brand that are trendy or brand that is of high value then that's good for us but the risk of buying this goodwill blue boxes is that it is a mystery box we don't know if these items inside are of trend or of no trend at all or if that's really well in there is in their selling platform but based on my experience i'm not gonna buy this year summer for thrifty apartment blue boxes i have to go out because it's warmer and thrifting is better when it's warmer so yeah so <laughs> moving forward yeah that's what i'm gonna do this year and i think i have to go out this week for thrifting somewhere in the local area if you are near a goodwill bin outlet you are very lucky to really go to the bins and dig into the bins and find some gems but me i don't have a lot of i mean i have we have here in york in queens but it takes me probably how many hours to go there because i don't drive so i have to ride the train but since i have an airbar salvation army and i have to go back to my old place to trip so ah that's the reselling life that's the reseller's life so we have to be you know uh, mindful of the things that we bought because I don't want to stock all items from the thrift store and it just don't sell so tendency is we have to like uh, donate it or just wear for our personal use if it does fit us or it just takes time to get sold so yeah so it's a waste of time and money listing and your energy listing all this stuff so that's a really sell in your selling platform because it is probably out of trend or it is probably not that in demand for the market so yeah so that's all for now i hope you guys have fun watching this video i hope you learned something from this unboxing uh, not unboxing <laughs> i hope you learned something from this what sold videos and the comparison of like from this first uh box 
to the second one which I bought uh, in the same season which is summer so I think I still have another boxes that are not really doing well ah stop so yeah that's all for today thank you all for watching and see you again next time bye